everyone, it's me, Justin, again, back to another review. At this time, unfortunately, Eddie cannot join us as he is currently busy with some other things going on right now. But this is my review of Everest that just came out last week in IMAX theaters and this week in regular theaters. And I'm so glad I got a chance to finally go see this film in IMAX because this movie really got me interested with the story that was happening. Because for I'm not really too familiar with the story about Mount Everest. I'm aware that a lot of people have climbed the mountain, and a lot of people have not really succeeded into doing that. And I really got curious about this movie after seeing the trailer for it because it kind of reminded me a little bit of that movie, Vertical Limit. If you don't remember that one, that's the one with Chris O'Donnell, where him and him and these other team of mountain climbers they go to go rescue a sister that's trapped in ice. So this movie actually kind of had that vibe kind of going for it and going into it and everything, but but also I really got interested because of the cast involved because in this movie you have Jason Clark, you have Josh Brolin, John Hawks, Sam Worthington, Jake Gyllenhaal, uh, Keira Knightley, Emily Watson. I mean the list goes on. I mean there's just this movie has a really huge cast, and so it really got me interested because when I saw the trailer of this film in, in 3D, it actually really put a lot of the visuals and perspective to good use and it really got me see, thinking that I could, it really got me curious what more they can do with disaster films, you know, movies that involve the weather and everything. And, uh, <clears throat> but anyway, I was really surprised this movie a lot. I really enjoyed it a lot. I really got into the story and it, I mean, it, it is your basic, you know, every man's journey to find the expedition and everything and they're having to but anyway I really got into this movie a lot because not only were the performances really good it was very emotional you know there was I'm not going to spoil anything what happens in the film but I really liked how the movie carried its weight you know there are points in the film where it kind of speeds up the days that are in the, that are going on and there's other times where it kind of steps back and starts to be a lot slower so it does kind of do a lot of the time jump kind of moving forward and everything but I really got into the story and I really got into a lot of the emotional emotion that's going in with a lot of these actors, especially with Jason Clark and Josh Groen and uh and their stories that they have with their wives and their kids and everything. And so it's really good to see a guy like this, Jason Clark, get a lot more roads because I think this guy has become a really good actor after seeing a lot of movies, you know, like with Dawn of the Planet of the Apes and everything. So this guy really shines in this movie. He really carries a lot of that emotional depth to the role, and he really plays the plays really good role playing Rob Hall. I mean, this leader who doesn't want to really have any competition with anybody because throughout the whole movie, he's basically just trying to see. He just wants to follow his dreams and becoming a man who wants to fight. <clears throat> I'm sorry, not fight. A man who wants to succeed in life and prove everything he wants before his wife and everybody else. And, and he when there are points in the film where he's talking to his wife in the phone and she's carrying the baby. And it, it just it just really fascinates me. I mean there's more I can go into, but again I'm trying to hold spoilers. But the biggest thing I want to talk about the most is the visuals. Because this movie really puts the boundaries of what it would be like if you're climbing that mountain. And you can actually feel like if you're watching 3D, you can actually feel like the the mountains coming down, you know, you feel like the slopes are very, very hard to handle, and they're they're running on them ropes and everything. And you know, it, there's a lot of points in this where you're just like, man, that would be scary to be on that kind of mountain. So you got to think Everest is considered one of the biggest mountains in the world, you know. And, I mean, what what would you do in that situation? But anyway, I'm going through this movie and I'm just saying, wow, man, this movie makes me kind of scared. I'm already scared of heights to begin with. So I really couldn't imagine being on that kind of mountain. But yeah, I I really enjoy the freedom this movie a lot because when you see an IMAX, you really get the experience the most because you're actually holding on to the edge of your seat. You're like, man, that's freaking hard to skip. That's really scary, you know. But not only that, the the score was pretty good too. I forgot who did the music, but you really feel the emotion and the really the peril these characters go through as they're trying to reach that summit, and it's it does get very teary eyed toward the end, and I might not spoil what happens, but pretty much all bets are off this film. So I really enjoyed the Everest. I thought it was a great movie to watch, especially the visuals. The performances really captured 
from Josh Brolin to the rest of the cast. They all did perfect. They're all perfect for what they do. You know, there could have been a couple characters that probably would have been more explained better. You know, that we don't really get to know, other than just there was like a couple faces, like the Sam Worthington. But I thought it was cool seeing Jake Gyllenhaal too. But it was kind of weird seeing him more of a supporting role in this one because he really doesn't come in until about the later middle of the movie, or not in the movie, like for like the second quarter of the film. So it really doesn't do a, a lot. He doesn't. He doesn't. I mean, he has a supporting role. It's just that hey, the movie's more of an ensemble piece. You know, you really get into all the characters all around. Most of the screen time focuses on Josh Brolin and Jason Clark and a little bit of John Hawks. So yeah, this movie is very well done. It's well acted. It's very well made, and the story really grips me and just doesn't let go. So. That's my thoughts on Everest, and the next movie I'll be seeing will be Sicario, which will be up this upcoming weekend. Overall, I would give the film probably an A+. You know, I'd really, I'd say it's one of the best films I've seen all year. There's a little things that they could have improved on here and there, but I think overall, it really got me into this kind of movie to watch, especially in IMAX theaters. So I give it a, I give it a, a solid 9.5 out of 10. I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their weekend, and I shall see you guys in my next video. See you.